Hello everyone, welcome back to Dead Cells. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. If you recall, I thought, hey, let's play with this uh, <laughs> cursed sword um, and a shield, of course. We need a shield so that we don't die immediately. Oh, I scared myself with my own bomb because I was about to say, uh, one hit and you're dead. So I, I have changed clothing whilst just faffing around in the start screen. This is the baguette outfit. I am now dressed like a baguette. Um, if you don't believe me, uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Sorry. Um, if, Stop. It's very frustrating when you say something that's true and people don't believe you. And I have. There's absolutely no way for me to back this up except for to sort of go back in when we inevitably die with this sword that I have chosen for myself. Or I could buy this sword. No, we'll inevitably die. Um, and I, I do have a plan for this episode, somewhat, believe it or not. Uh, which is that I. Um, because we're probably going to die inevitably immediately. What? Oh, I fell through the hole and I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, scary. Um, we I didn't. I didn't pick up the cavern key. Uh, and I re realized that at the end of the last episode, uh, we did pick up the cavern key in that episode and just sort of did nothing with it. So that's because I forgot I had it. Because by the time we got to the point where we could have used it, it was way far back in my mind, and I had already been talking about goodness knows what for the longest amount of time. So. You know it is. You know, if you're not a, oh, there we go. If you're not a YouTuber, how could you possibly understand? I was saying, what really bothered me is that if I say something that I know to be true, and I can't back it up because it it's just a fact. There's n there's nothing interesting or not interesting about it. It's just the way it is. Um, then I sort of well, first of all, stop arguing with me, <laughs> and then. It's really extremely very frustrating. This is the tailor. It's extremely very frustrating that I have to then somehow um, figure out how to put forward something that shouldn't even be an argument. I did it. I didn't did it. Oh. How did we do this last time? <laughs> I managed it. There we go. Uh, I, I don't want this. There we go. It shouldn't. I shouldn't have to defend a point that is just absolutely trivially clear. You know, it, it, this is the baguette outfit. Stop disrespecting. You know, respect my authority. I was the one who went into the tailor and and chose this outfit especially for myself, um, with you know, no real sort of care for what it represented or anything. But, I've noticed this many times. I do not have an example right now, which is a shame, because if I had one, you would understand immediately what I was talking about, which is that people will just cling on to... It's almost like they don't want me to be right. And I don't... I'm not trying to say it's about me. This is not about me specifically. I think it's a personality of other people. Um, I'm going to go for brutality today and see if we can go for maybe a, a not a shield run. Oh, they really want a shield run at the end of the day. Because we're going to get to the boss. We really want a shield run. Oh, that is not necessarily true. Um... There's a certain personality type which other people's truths, let's say, are automatically under suspicion. I don't have a better way of putting that really, it's just there are certain people who will not not believe the simplest thing from you. Um, irrespective of <laughs> you know how trivial it would be for them to believe you. Do I want to switch this out? Uh, I'm going to say yes because I don't really like a whip. And... I can't sell that. And also, um, because it has one more brutality on it, it means that we've got a little bit more... Um, I'm glad I saw that at the last moment. Though. A little bit more uh, punch power with our weapon. Do you know what? Let's go to the time door instead of the effort door, because we want to go this way. We have picked up the cavern key. My phone has buzzed. Uh, I'm not answering those. What part have I recorded? <laughs> I am recording now, so I'm not going to type... I haven't got Discord open on the computer, otherwise I just quickly switch and say what I need to say. But, oh, this is a difficult question. Poison has no effect on you. Take! <laughs> That's actually really good, because I suck at this level, because I'm always taking poison damage. So in theory, I should just be able to do this. Ahaha! Ah drinking in the slime. Nice. Um, people... People. <laughs> 
I've got new things as well. Don't forget that if you get through the first level, you can have stuff. But I'm going to dump all this in stuff that I need. Need to make progress towards that I don't want immediately. Uh, S quality, no. It's far too expensive. I don't think it's that valuable. I don't know if I really care. Quite honestly. Let's just take a red one of these and, and move on. We want... Cooldown is not an issue right now. Let's go for DPS and just rack up the uh, rack up the damage early on. See if we can get some sort of... I always feel like the levels, the levels, the runs that we've had recently have been s <laughs> balanced. And I don't want them to be balanced. I want them to be outrageous, which has yet to happen. This oil sword is actually not the best thing. So it possibly could have been uh, an opportunity to put uh, one cell into one of those other ones that we haven't um, yet. Wow, that actually damaged all the way over there. Quite outrageous. Very happy with it, though. I'm enjoying this new shields. Shield meta is actually working out really well recently. If you recall, we were bad at shields. And uh, I'm not trying to say that I'm now the best at shields. The best around. But having got some sort of affinity with them, where previously... <clears throat> should have brought a drink with me. Previously, I was... Uh, underwhelming. Good. Good way of uh, giving yourself a little bit of diplomatic immunity to the uh, inevitable comments. Now that I've got a little bit of the habit of actually using them, we can use them offensively even when they're not offensive types. That was careless, but we managed. Um, in as much as ones like this one we have right now, for example. Or maybe this one. This does do bleeding, and I, I kind of prefer that. First of all, it's a 2+, plus, and this is my first one, so I can't sell it. Um, the offensive ones like the punishment, which is actually really good. <clears throat> I sold it just because it was ever so slightly worse, not because it was necessarily bad. Uh, I think we could have survived with it a lot longer. But we, we got an upgrade. Switch. Uh, that's the way to do it. We... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we, because we're getting better at using the shield correctly, at least in these early levels where you've got a little bit more um, time to respond. We have... Um, we can use an offensive shield to actually add to our DPS where previously, even when we were using the early shields where they literally just did defense. Oh, is that even true? I feel like it's true, but I don't know. Don't need to jump over the puddles, of course. Um, having all this extra power behind us, being able to intentionally ooh, um, hurt things by defending myself against them is uh, it's an interesting turn of events for somebody who was once absolute trash at doing anything with something that wasn't a bow and a shield, a bow and a, a bow and a sword. Is that what I used to use, a bow and a sword? It's funny how things have turned around because now my preferred setup is a sword and a shield. Uh, with maybe some extra options for uh, a really good bow or the you know a uh, full DPS build, but we, we did a lot of purely um, what are you calling it um, uh, brutality only builds early on, and you know the conventional wisdom was that shields are really good, learn to use them well, and I have to say. I have been shown that that is the case. So yeah, if you are playing this game and you don't believe conventional wisdom of shields being good, uh, I believe it is conventionally wise that shields are quite good, but you have to use them. There's a learning curve, and we have got a long way to go. Especially the more ah, oh! see everything there. Yolo, excuse me. <laughs> Why did the baddie shout Yolo? Have I got a Yolo trinket? <laughs> what was that? Explain, explain to my. Expliquez vous, s'il vous plaît. Um, we could do with basically anything, so let's just go with basically anything. Uh, I do like an ice grenade, just buy that. A bit expensive for what it is, but we haven't found anything yet because we skipped a lot of the first level. In order to get the Topaz Amulet, which I have to be honest, has given me enough confidence. I can't say whether it saved us from any damage because I've been intentionally plunging myself into the drink. Because I know that I can just walk through it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Excuse me? 
I can't have two ice grenades. Is this a new update that I did not read the patch notes for? Quite, quite possibly. Uh, who reads patch notes these days? I tend to get all my news, as does everybody, from uh, Reddit. Which is to say, I... I'm not on the Dead Cells subreddit. I should do that. Uh, I tend to check information only if and when somebody else has determined it necessary that the information be sort of disseminated amongst the populace. I.e., I'm not going to know that there was a patch to read the notes of unless somebody else has already gone to the considerable effort of transcribing them into another format in a syndicated manner that I'm likely to read in the first place. Which is to say, I'm super duper lazy and uh, I'm just going to only read what arrives at me. Which is a great way of putting yourself in a little bubble slash echo chamber slash circle jerk, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> you know, if you actually want to be a well-rounded individual, you should definitely make some effort to <laughs> read some opinions or uh, uh, subreddits or stories or blog posts or anything that doesn't necessarily directly fit into your immediate sphere of in interest, should we call it. You can have this, and then we'll do that. Um, so <laughs> ah, baddie! Well, we're not going to get anywhere with Why are you allowed to do that? I can do that, but everything else gets good, so it's not the best thing. Luckily, this is an elite with not a real strong attack. I tried to parry this. Look, we're, we're trying, okay? Very trying. Yes, I know. Ha ha. No one's ever made that joke before. I don't think you can beat that, even with its own... Nah. But I <laughs> managed to kill that somehow anyway. Uh, a four versus a four. Damage? Nah. So, <laughs> even my own sphere of interest is not really fully covered. Simply due to the fact that I could be in the Dead Cell subreddit, learning about when patch notes arrive. Is the new Hollywood blockbuster by... I'm not au fait enough with things to pull a director or writer off the top of my head who has a name similar to the thing I just said. Do I like that? I think no. Let's, let's not pay any money for that. I'm not really a fan of this sword that we've got, but we might as well you know, bet the devil you know sort of thing. Uh, I'm kind of wondering if there's anything worth finding. Oh, well, I'm not allowed out, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> where were we? How you doing? I'm alright. Um, <clears throat> been working from home a lot more recently. It's quite... It's difficult and easy at the same time. The reason it's easy is that you don't have to go anywhere. You just sort of change room and lo and behold, you're at work, but you're not at work. Uh, so there's a certain, there's a reluctance to uh, put 100% in all of the time because it's so comfortable being at home. There's a lot of distractions. We've had the ADD talk, right? ADHD talk. Oh, talking about ADHD and therefore getting distracted by something that ADHD is distracted by. Um, oh, I do like Nova Steel. It is a... I... Don't want to do it. I like it, but this is not the run for it. Because <clears throat> we're trying something new, which means... Uh, don't mess with it. Because we're going to go to the caverns, if you remember. <laughs> if you remember, if I remember. That went well. <laughs> Should have done that way more often in the past. We have the cavern key, so we don't want to really mess with the thing that we want to be. We need it to be more of a sure thing. So I'm going to stick with the sword and shield, you know, MLG combo uh, and take it from there. I feel like being immune to a poison makes the ancient sewers a much more decent of a prospect. I ADD'd you again. Do you see that? Because I was talking about ADD. I was about to start talking about something related to ADD, which I, I can remember. And then I was going to say, <laughs> uh, we could practice those birdie things again. See if we can figure out how the hell to parry the damn things. No, we're going to we're gonna look it up. Chrome. Give me Chrome. Uh, dead. Bells wiki. What's it called? Corrupted prison. 
Give me the give me the bestiary around of the Don't be slow. No internet. No your mama. What do you mean no internet? <laughs> How do you have no internet? There is oh no. Just decided there's no internet. And no, it's flickering. Maybe my cable's dodgy. Get an internet here. It's flickering. I don't like this. Give me a second, friends. A link light? I didn't. I didn't have a link light, and when I poked it. There's a link light. Okay, if you don't know, when you have an actual cable, <clears throat> you plug it into the computer, it lights up. There's two lights on it. One that says that you've got a link, and one that says that the link is active. And the flashing one says you've got data going back and forth. The The link light wasn't on, but you can't tell because it's in the back of the computer. Guess where the back of the computer is? That's right. It's at the back, which is where the wall is. So I was trying to light my finger up. <laughs> I was trying to see if data was traveling through the cable by seeing whether my finger was flashing uh, and every time I poked it it, it seemed to, to make it work okay we've got a slammer a shocker a bat a grenadier an undead archer a zombie a protector an inquisitor a dark tracker and a bomber none of them has a picture <laughs> lawless strategic I'm about Peter crossbow size is probably this bomber then seismic strike no, what the heck are you enemies wearing a plague doctor mask no never seen that before. A slammer? Slammer. The three five eyes. Big blue birds with five eyes and pink darts embedded in their back. They're also in the Astro Lab, which is probably spoilers because we've never found that. Slammer's only attack is to smash their beak against the ground, creating a nice shot play bear effect that mobilizes the player. Slammer's extremely fast and cannot be parried, so it's essential to roll through and hit Slammer's from behind. Cannot be parried, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everybody in between. We have looked it up on the wiki, we tried our best, but it was not my fault. It wasn't me, okay? We did take some damage, but I think that's okay. I'm tempted by this. But it's not... Um, who cares? I think no. <laughs> I really don't care. I, I would like a better health flag so that we have a better chance of beating the boss, which I'm incapable of beating. Uh, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Fair enough. Like once in a while. How am I still this bad at this game? Huh? Plastic game will automatically refer itself to kill 11 elite enemies. This might be good, actually. I just thought of this, actually. Taking this now. Now. What happened to my voice? I used to have, I used to have a proper accent, mate. I used to have a proper accent. Not the neutral British nonsense. Rubbish. Get your voice back. What's the matter with you? I've gone, gone Liverpool. Where are you from, mate? So we're going to try the whole thing <laughs> without getting hit. We only could, need to kill 10 enemies, and if we're lucky, the majority of them will be... Um... Right, so we can have two grenades, just not two of the same grenades. Fine. The majority of them will not be those bombers that are impossible to beat. Oh, it's so good! Also, it's colourless. I will take this. I'm sorry, shield. But... Um, first of all, we can't get hit, so don't even risk it. <laughs> what are you trying? Oh, I missed that one. Um, secondly, I, I did sell the shield out of hubris. I realise. <laughs> Not necessarily the best thing to do. In this situation, I am in. Nice. Just let everything die to flames. Who cares? Uh, I was talking about the fact that I have just decided that it's probably within my interest to pick up the... Um... Nice. Now I can get hit by that thing. Uh, the, the tainted flask. Because... Ooh, close. Um, the Tainted Flask will refill your thingy if you beat 11 elite enemies, right? Which incentivizes fighting elite enemies, obviously. But, uh, that's okay. 
Yeah. The only thing I'm not sure about, which is why it's a little bit for science-y, and I know I said I wasn't going to mess with anything, but I just thought of this. Um, it's, it's not ideal because we've not tested this before, but um, one of the problems we may have been having... Thus, uh, think about it. All right, look. I may not have thought this entirely all the way through. I, I'm talking it through right now, and as I'm explaining it, I'm realizing I may have a flawed outlook, which is that we were struggling because we didn't have enough... We're struggling because I'm sh really bad at the game. <laughs> but what would have maybe struggled less is if I had enough charges of my flask at the end of the game to make it through the boss fight. Um, even though I was heavily reliant on those charges, I didn't have very many. Ooh, pass through. Nice. Um, so, I was wondering... If maybe there was some way whereby if I were to uh, kill enough elites that by the time we get to the elite section of the boss fight, I could have had nerves of steel and a shield. If we can get to um, the elite section of the boss fight, then there's like maybe four elites there. I'm not sure if it's two or four. In either case, if we only need to kill one more, then the actual elites at the end of the game, which I have to get to, by the way. We, we might just screw this up completely. Um, the actual elites at the end of the game might be enough to refill our flask during that fight, which would be absurd. I tried to roll, but you're not letting me, which is rude. Thank you very much. Well, I've lost my uh, kill count, which is very annoying. But we're doing really well, so, you know, each time we play, we get a little bit better. And one day, we'll be good enough to earn another boss cell. <laughs> and then the game will be impossible and I'll get sick of it and we'll go back to playing straight. How about that? Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, Bob. Let's make it happen. So ADD. <clears throat> One of the things I was realizing is that half of the problem with ADD is that I can't remember when I get distracted by thing A, what I was talking about before I got distracted by it. Oh, why? Um, so... But the rambling happens. You've, you've been privy to the rambling all this time. I'm assuming we can't just break this. Yeah. So they do make unbreakable shields. <laughs> I mean doors. It's just they don't really put them very many places. Why is this such a bereft <laughs> flaw? How did I manage to just not see this key and now I have to walk all the way back? Do not have. Oh, hey, hello. Turn around. There we go. It's more of this. There might have been barely 60 enemies to kill in the first place, so it's a little bit of a shame that we did take damage when we did. Just one. I probably don't want any of the stuff. I didn't even check to see if I wanted the stuff that I'm getting the key to unlock. Um, I read an article. Well, I didn't read an article. Said. Jen showed me a thing about ADD, and there is a phenomenon. I don't really want any of that, do I? Whereby your take um, there's a phenomenon whereby caffeine causes ADD people to feel karma. Um, in neurotypical person, if you drink caffeine. It's a stimulant, and you get stimulated. Excuse me. Who oh, I misses? Um, but the, the, the stimulant has its effect. It causes you to wake up, and then too much of it causes shivers and palp and anxiety and everything. But if you're if you've got ADHD, you're saying ADD, and I'm meaning ADHD, but you get the idea. Um, then you okay? Didn't do anything. Um, you got to a normal level after drinking caffeine and the theory is that the neurotransmitters in the uh, in your brain the standard neurotransmitters that put you at a certain level of stability are lesser in an ADHD person so what they're constantly doing is switching between stimuli to try and get back to a normal level of attentiveness and the way to treat that is to provide the ADHD person with a stimulus 
uh, in this case, in the form of I don't have my thing yet, do I? Nice, that is strong fire, just saying. Uh, in a form of caffeine, but um, apparently Ritalin itself is a, an amphetamine, I think I said. I don't want to sell it. That was a nice elite fight. I didn't take any damage. There's no indication of how many elites I have to fight <laughs> to um, get my thing to proc, but there you go. We live and learn. So, if you find that you don't just require caffeine to function, but to focus, and that the first caffeine of the day actually makes you sleepy and not anxious or anything. I, I don't know if you can dodge roll the, uh, the, uh, that. I don't know if you can dodge roll those spikes, by the way. If you find that the first caffeine of the day is making you sleepy or calming you or something like that, it's probably because you have a lack of the neurotransmitters that you require to be at a calm level, which are provided by a stimulant like caffeine and amphetamine. But, right. Oh, I wasn't supposed to be up there. I was supposed to be down here still. Um, I, I kind of wish I had a shield. Sorry. <laughs> I do regret my decision, but only in the name of science do I regret it. It is oil, but nothing's... The, the 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 fire grenade is so much better with a fire sword, you know? Fine. Who cares? Let's just end this run early because I'm talking nonsense and I'm only doing this to create a video. I don't actually care about you lot. I'm, I'm teasing! Jeez! Calm down. I can hear you yelling at me through the comment. No one comments on my... <laughs> no one comments. Leave me alone, okay? I'm, I'm playing it up for effect, but it's not real. It's not true. It's not fair. I should have gone through the thingy to see what was on the other side. This is a thing we have learned immediately by experience, is that you should go through the scary chest room. See if you can get past the scary chest room without taking damage straight away. Okay, that's two. I can see that. Oop, oop. You all die, nice. And then there's this, so we do this. What are you exploding for? And why did my grenade go down there? I was planning on that grenade not being down there, and I do not know how I ended up where I did. Ugh, I'll tell you the sequence of events there. I mean, let's just, you know, do a post-mortem on that. I jumped onto the platform and threw the grenade at what I thought was the same time. The theory being that the grenade landed on the platform, exploded, and then I was on the platform to pick up any pieces and, like, kite the birds into the fire. Which is not what happened, because the grenade didn't end up on the platform, but I did, because I did both things at the same time. <sighs> well, we'll go for a shield run again. It was almost not worth this. What is this, by the way? Can someone tell me about this? Something fishy about this beast. Let's have a look at this mirror. While we're on the, the, the wiki wiki wild wild west, give me my... Where's my flaming mouse cursor? Where's my pointer? Come on. Look at that. There we go. Uh, mirror. What is this mirror? Redirected from mirror, the collector. Not that one. Hunter's mirror. Unlock a mirror near the scribe that may come in handy during your hunts. There is a random enemy on your boss that carries a blueprint you don't have yet. Regardless of the difficulty level, you need to stop. Right, so these spinny things still have um, blueprints, so I need to find an elite one or turn it into an elite one, but. Uh, it might not be on the current difficulty level, which we're never going to get past because we can't even fight eight, ten enemies without uh, dying horribly. So thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for not having ADHD so that you got all the way through this thing, even though I'm talking nonsense. And I hope I'll see you in the next episode, although I think I'm probably going to go and play some strafe because you know how it is if you play a game for too long and then you just get so focused and in you don't get in the mindset you just get a bit mind flooded by it so i need some variety you need to make my mental ecosystem a little bit more various so let's go and play some strafe i managed to get an hour episode out of that last time so i hope you all enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you on the other side ta-ta